lying in bed and I nudged my husband and I said, whose idea was this anyway? It was my idea. We are thrilled. We have we have set a record this year for how many how many children are here participating in our little wholesome family fun. So thank you for coming out. The half of you that were here last year in the pouring rain, we particularly appreciate it. But we we uh, we, we we had it in with the Easter Bunny this year, and we said, Mr. Bunny, these people don't like to stand out in the rain for for you know for very long. So could you please send some good weather this year? So I think he, he did. He also said that uh, because we were expecting so many people, you know, he sent me a text message this year. He sent me a text message on his BlackBerry. <laughs> he keeps that BlackBerry, of course, charged in the BlackBerry patch of his garden. <laughs> I will not quit my day job of growing plants. Anyway, he said so that we would have enough eggs for everybody. He has actually hidden 5,000 eggs here. Oh, my God. So there's going to be enough for everybody to have five eggs. When you are finished collecting, we have bags for you so that you can take your eggs home, give your baskets back, and you can recycle your eggs if you want. And sure enough, well, the Easter Bunny is going to be the best friend of the Easter Bunny. See, I told you, we work for the Easter Bunny. It's a really good head picture for these kids. We'll let you eat that a little bit later. All right, is everybody ready to go? On the count of three. One, two, three. These are the pansy butterfly gardens that Tina Beam has put together. We've got leftover white sticks from Christmas. They've got uh, pansies. They've got a little Dusty Miller in there, ribbon leftover from another event. And the butterflies. Butterflies are cool. Um, they're eye-catching. They're uh, breezing, breezing, blowing in the breeze in the greenhouse here. Very cool idea. Once again, Tina knocks it out of the park. 